One thing about living in Santa Carla I never could stomach. All the damn vampires. Hello everyone, so we're in about mid-November now. Halloween's gone. Guy Fawkes is gone. So all you saw the Halloween movies, they're on the back burner now. But I am going to talk about my favourite horror franchise. Favourite horror franchise, well... Years ago it was Child's Play, but as I've grown up now, these movies are now my favourite horror franchise. I'll get the first one out first. It is Final Destination. I remember going to the pictures to watch this. <sighs> Must have been 2001, 2002 did it come out? I'll see if I can quickly find it. Um... I'm sure it was about 2001, went to the pictures, didn't know what to expect. Jump scares just all over the place, and obviously when they've been in the pictures, the speakers, just boom, like when the plane explodes at the start, and you just... But there was one bit where the girl gets hit off the bus, and actually jumped out, and you seen on that bit. Then you can just drop fucking dead. <laughs> the box art... I've never really liked the box art of these. So Final Destination, the first one. They're going on a friend they're going on a trip to France. And the guy has sort of like a premonition of the plane blowing up. And there's a few little things that happens before the plane blows up, and he wakes up in the plane, and these few little things happen again. And he rushes everybody off this plane. And the wizard all saying, What the hell are you doing? What happened there? He's saying the plane blew up, the plane blew up, and they're saying, oh, you just had a dream. But then, bam, the plane blows up and all the windows come smashing in. And from then, because they've cheated death, death has come and looking for them. And look out for a nice little cameo from the candy man in this as well. So that was Final Destination. That was the plane. Like fucking oh, shit. Oh, shit. Final Destination 2, that one is on the highway, in the, going on the highway, someone has a premonition again, big massive pile up on the, on the highway, cars smashing all over the place, once again, death comes looking for them, I do like that box art, if you can see there, nice bits of lightning going up, skeleton in the background, there's the back there. Final Destination 2, you can't cheat death twice. It's not over yet. Obviously the first one, it's a, the first one's the best one. The, the jump scares in the first one, absolutely unbelievable. Obviously, this is good as well, really enjoyed Final Destination 2. <laughs> Final Destination 3. The box art, again, it's all right. This one's a roller coaster. Once again, someone has a premonition. But this time, they're not sort of looking out for the signs. But they took loads of photographs and they've got to read the photographs to find out how each one of them is going to die. And they go around trying to save each other again. Really good. Final Destination 3. That is a two disc special edition, that one. Nice shine on the disc there. And again, little book in the front. What's that? Yeah, just a scene selection and what's the sale? Underworld. Evolution. Final Destination 3. Probably on par with the second one. Obviously, it's not as good as the first one. <laughs> the Final Destination. This is at a speedway. Another premonition. Cars going all over the place. Tires hitting everybody, the whole crowd getting killed. Excellent again. This one's in 3D, but not in the 3D you're thinking of. This is old school 3D. So I do have some final destination rest in pieces 3D glasses. Two pairs. Again, that is a two disc special edition there. Excellent again. 
Out of all the box arts, that is pretty much the best box art there. The 3D in it with these glasses, it's all right, it's not too bad. It's, it's like I say, it's old school 3D. It's not the new stuff where it comes right out. It does come out the TV a little bit, but doesn't come right out to you. That one again, excellent jump scares, excellent scares. Death comes looking for them again. Oh, that looks awesome, isn't that? The third one. Looks excellent with me 3D glasses, though. There is nine novels of this. There's two comic books. This was originally written to be part of the X-Files series. But obviously, New Line Cinema brought it out and made it into the movie. That right there is my favourite horror franchise. For me, it beats all your Nightmare on Elm Streets. Halloween's Friday the 13th. I'm filming this today. This is Friday the 13th. But I'm bringing out my favourite horror franchise. And that is the Final Destinations. <laughs> but like I say, the first one is by far the best. It's probably the best. Because I didn't really know what to expect. When I first seen that. And the jump scares, I remember. Just, honestly, when she got hit by that bus. And I jumped out my seat in the cinema. Swore her very, very loud. Excellent. I'm sure that was 2001. Like I say, there is a number five as well. I don't have number five yet, which I will need to get. Number five, I'm sure, is a prequel to the first one. That might be a little bit of a spoiler. Whoops. But all Final Destinations, every single one of them, it's a fantastic movie. I love New Line Cinema stuff. Wow, Mark, this is for the love of movies. Thanks very much, and goodbye. Stay around for the extras. Well done. It's like I say, it's November. Halloween's gone. Bonfire night's gone. I'm not American, so I don't know what Thanksgiving's all about. But you kind of are thinking, what movies do I watch now? You're finished with your horror movies. October. You're done with horror movies. Do you start watching Christmas movies? It's maybe it's a little bit too early to start watching your die-hard Christmas movies like Wonderful Life, Christmas Vacation. Home Alone. So I think these movies here are your go-to movies for November. Die Hard. Brilliant action movie. Set at Christmas time. Excellent November movie. That's a special edition one that not told me. If you haven't seen Die Hard, you must have all seen Die Hard, surely. Nakatomi Tower gets taken over by Professor Snape from Harry Potter. Excellent movie that. Die Hard 2, Die Harder. That is also set at Christmas time. He's in the airport this time. Terrorists take over the airport. You haven't seen the Die Hard movies. Come on. Probably the best. Right up there. Probably the best action movies of all time. There's only probably Con Air. And come close to the diehards. Welcome to the party, pal! Now, if you want a bit of a horror Christmas movie, and it's not really a Christmas movie, it could be horror, you can watch this any time of year, Gremlins. You can get away with it in November. It is a Christmas movie, it's set at Christmas time, but it is also a horror. It's not based around Christmas, it's just at Christmas time. So little movies like that, Die Hard, Die Hard 1, Die Hard 2, Gremlins. You can watch these at Christmas time and people won't be saying, it's too early for Christmas movies because you can just say, it's not it's a horror movie or it's an action movie. But I love this. <laughs> Gremlins, it's absolutely brilliant. If you haven't seen it before, it's basically Little Gizmo, one of the cutest little things you'll ever see. There he is there. Don't get him wet. If he gets wet, he multiplies. Don't ever feed him after midnight and he hates bright lights. Well, I'm Mark. This is for the love of movies. Thanks for staying around for the extras. And goodbye. And most important, no matter how much they bathe, never, never let them eat after midnight. Like an angel on your shoulder, see? <clears throat> and if you ever get hurt and you feel that you're going down, 
This little angel is going to whisper in your ear. He's going to say, Get up, you son of a bitch! Because Mickey loves you.